core four summer twenty fourteen. Question eight with a parametric differentiation. So the first thing to note from the chain rule is dy dx dy dt multiplied by dt dx. Or we can think of that as dy dt divided by dx dt. So if x equals 2t minus sine 2t, then dx dt equals 2 minus 2 cos 2t. And if y equals 4 cos t, then dy dt is minus 4 sine t. So dy dx minus 4 sine t all over 2 upon 1 minus cos 2t. And all I've done here is factorise this, which allows me to cancel the 2 and the 4. Now we're told that the gradient equals root 2, so that equals minus 2 sine t all over 1 minus cos 2t. So we're going to multiply both sides by 1 minus cos 2t and we have root 2 upon 1 minus and cos of 2t is 1 minus 2 sine squared t equals minus 2 sine t. So we have root 2 minus root 2 plus 2 root 2 sine squared t equals minus 2 sine t. These cancel and if we bring everything over to the left we have 2 root 2 sine squared t plus 2 sine t equals 0. Factorising of 2 sine t upon root 2 sine t plus 1 equals 0. So we have that sine t equals 0. So t equals 0 is the first answer out of the calculator. Root 2 sine t plus 1 is 0. So sine t equals minus 1 over root 2. The first answer from the calculator is minus pi over 4. Our limits are pi over 2 3 pi over 2. At the moment neither of these answers lie in our range. So if I take a cast diagram for the first one, I have 0 and 2 pi, neither of which are in our range, so no solution. And if I draw a cast diagram for our second solution, then I can see that my angle is going to be pi plus pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 4. So t equals 5 pi over 4. So bringing together all parts, we have that x equals 2 times 5 pi over 4 minus the sine of 10 pi over 4 and y is 4 cos 5 pi over 4. So the x becomes 5 pi over 2 minus 1 and y is 4 times minus 1 over root 2 so that's minus 4 over root 2 and I'm going to rationalise the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 2 which gives me minus 4 root 2 over 2 minus 2 root 2.